Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's topic of discussion is importance of literature review in research. Before going into detail, I would briefly define some important terms. Literature. Literature is a written work on a topic usually in a published form. For example, it may be a book or a chapter in an edited book or a research article or a company report. Review, evaluation of a publication. Critical review. In critical review, we summarize and evaluate the ideas and information given in a text. It expresses our point of view in the light of what we already know about the topic and what is acquired from the text under review. In critical review, we carefully read by taking into account both the contributions made by the researcher and the deficiencies in the previous research. Literature review. Literature review simply means description of previous research and research findings. It provides information, what has been said, who said that, who are the key authors, what are the prevailing theories and models, as well as hypotheses, what methods are appropriate and useful. As such, literature review in itself is not a primary research, rather it reports on others' findings. There are two types of literature review, one descriptive, other critical assessment. In descriptive literature review, we just provide the description of previous research without making any criticism. On the other hand, in critical assessment, we do not just summarize and evaluate, but at the same time, we make comparisons between the texts, we make contrasts, we highlight issues, gaps and deficiencies or areas of improvement in the previous research so that key themes emerge. Now coming to the key topic that is importance of literature review in the research. I would like to quote an example to highlight the importance of literature review in research. When we construct a building, the first activity we conduct is we lay its foundations because without foundations a building cannot stand. The same way your research cannot be accepted by a well-known publisher for publication if it does not contain proper literature review and theoretical foundations. There are some other important reasons why we conduct literature review. One, it provides information about the historical background of the topic. It provides information what has been done and what needs to be done. It means it provides information about issues that have been addressed by the previous researchers and it provides information about those issues which are still unaddressed. It helps us to justify our own research. It provides information about terms, definitions, concepts and theories and models which are used in our area of research. It provides information about methods of data collection and tools of analysis. Most importantly, from literature review, we learn how to write. Thank you so much.